Hi there friends! Thanks for stopping by my channel. Kathy here with Spicy Cat Jams. I'm so glad you found me. Thank you to all my wonderful subscribers. Um, I am just floored every day that I wake up and look at my account and see that my number has gone up. I'm, I'm amazed. Today I have my monthly Battle of the $10 Beauty subscriptions. So if this is your thing, stick around. If not, click out, go check out one of my playlists or other videos. There has to be something you enjoy watching. And otherwise, if you care and want to see who wins this year, this year, this month for November 2015, we got the battle between Birchbox and Ipsy. Pink to pink. If you are not familiar with Birchbox and Ipsy, I have links listed down below that you can click on and um, find out more about them. They are both monthly subscriptions where you get um, usually five beauty related items. You will fill out a survey kind of profile on both sites indicating your, um, your likes, your dislikes, your, your style. Do not expect them to 100% match you all the time and um, just get over it. I used to hold that against them and I'm like, no. There's, they do a pretty good job considering the massive amount of subscribers they have. So you might get some things you don't like. I know I haven't participated, but there are some swap groups out there so you can swap. Um, I prefer to just pack it up in a box and do a random act of kindness for a friend. So, or maybe someday I'll do a giveaway out here. I don't, we'll see if there's a want for that. I could certainly do that too. So anyway, and they are both $10 a month. You can sign up for you know, like three, I think, I'm guessing, for like a longer subscription, say you lock in for six months or a year and the price will go down a little bit more, um, but then you can't cancel. So I chose to sign up for both of them for a full year and I'm battling them head to head each month and more than likely at the end of the year, I'll at least cancel one, if not both, depending what other subscription boxes I find because I seem I have a little bit of a problem. Check out the unboxings playlist and you'll know what I mean. But let's go. I, I always forget which one I did did last. We'll do Ipsy first. Ipsy always sends these beautiful pink um, padded envelopes. I love them. They're just sealed. And your Ipsy products will always come in. This is really flat. I already have my hand in here, but... Normally it's a, a little bit thicker than that. Um, you always get a beauty bag in your Ipsy bag. Mine's, oh, okay. Wow, well let's just talk about the bag for a minute here. Holy galactic amazingness. Um, this is like a cosmic explosion. I really like the colors. I like pink and blue. This is obviously Galaxy Space Inspired. Hey, let me check out the card to see what the theme is. It is called Beauty Blast this month. Ipsy sends this little postcard. It's good for nothing except maybe being a fan. Coaster. Um, it tells you that what they named it. it. has some beautiful people, always very beautiful people on it. And um, a little cheesy line here. The stars are aligning. Your November glam bag is a universe of brilliant beauties. Twinkle, twinkle, darling. It's time to light up the sky. And then they have some social media tags you can do to win a one-year glam bag subscription. That's all. It's pretty much worthless. I've never seen them announce who these winners are, if they do it every month, once a decade. I don't know. It's really a waste of paper, which is sad because some poor designer worked hard on this and it's got nothing useful for me. The bag! As I said, it's bright. It is a fabric bag, but it's, um looks feels like it's water repellent. I don't know if it's nylon. Again, I've said before, I do not like the zippers in the front. Just my own personal preference. I prefer them on the top. I know. Get over it, Kathy. Oh, oh, so the first item I'm assuming is this brush that did not fit in the bag, which would buy, be why it's outside of it. Okay, I'm excited because I have been doing the boxes since June and I've never gotten a brush. And I need brushes and I want brushes. So I'm already excited from Mr. Mr. Ms. Miss Ipsy. Um, don't know 
Bdellium, Bdellium Tools Blending Brush for Eyes, $7.76. I'm excited to get this. Big win. Let's see the other items. You just And they're usually all packed in the bag. Pull them out. We got an eyeshadow. I'm not sure what this company is. Inspur? Is that abbreviated for Inspiration? Inspire? It is in Carnival. And... Looks okay. I'm always I always look for um you know scary stuff, parabens, sulfates, that kind of stuff. Nothing's jumping out at me, so I appreciate that. This is a pretty color. I'm I don't wanna is it openable? No, it's plastic sealed in case you want to swap. Um it's called Carnival. It's really uh it's not gonna show with the glare from the camera in the case, but um yeah. Trust. It's kind of a coffee brown. It looks like there's a little bit of shimmer to it. It's a nice, nice little brown eyeshadow that I might already have a bajillion of, but I like it. Here is a company I am not familiar with. Oh, this is paraben free. Figs and Rouge. I just saw the F and R. Figs and Rouge. It's mattifying emulsion and pore refiner. MT and sheer. Not sure what MT stands for, but it's a little, um, it's a pretty decent sample size for a primer. Anti-shine, invisible pores, and FYI, it is sealed for those of you. I always like to point out if it's sealed, because if you want to swap, make sure what you're getting is sealed, just so you don't have to worry about being contaminated, unless it's somebody you know and trust. You know, a lot of us do these unboxings and we do a swatch, so... And I think there's a way to sanitize things. I don't know how. I got a cat coming, as usual. Guess which one? Hi. You gonna say hello to the friends? Yep, it's Lily. This uh, smash of mascara, smash, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Um, this I've used this before. This was actually when I started doing makeup again this summer. This is the first mascara I bought. I bought a whole little um, Smashbox eye kit. And I used it, gosh, for several months. I don't know if it ever even actually dried up or used up. I just was ready to switch. But this is a good mascara, so I may keep that or I may gift it. Now this is interesting. Hello, gorgeous. Makeup paper travel blush. This is something I've never seen, never heard about before. Travel with me. Oh, they've got a coupon back here to get 50% off your order. Anyone can use that. It's good till the end of December. Everybody see it? Ipsy 2015. Um, what am I? A colored blush paper made to simplify your blushing needs wherever your busy life takes you. Use me, abuse me, but you will never break me. I am shatterproof. How to use? Pat or rub paper on apples of cheeks. For more color, pay off repeat motion with more pressure. One sheet is good for both cheeks. This is very interesting, made in Taiwan. I have not seen this. I first, when I saw papers, I thought, oh, you know, oil blotting papers. So I gotta open this up and take a little bit closer look because I'm very intrigued about. They're very thin and it's somewhat tricky to um, get out. There we go, I just took it all the way out of the plastic. Well, look at these. They are, see, they're like very thin sheets. Um, I'm going to just take one and we're going to, this I got to try and swatch. Um, I know I don't have the best lighting, so I'm not sure. I'm assuming that this is all the pigment on the front. You can see the back is white. What happens if we put it on my skin? Oh, yeah. It's transferring. Wow, this is pretty cool. Um. It's a pretty pinky, it's kind of showing brownish coral, but it's actually very, um, a nice, I think this would be good for lots of tones. It does have some shimmer, though, if you're not into shimmery cheeks, but, wow. Can I see that? I'm going to see if I can get a better true color, but, sorry, it's the best we're going to get. Um, these are pretty nifty. I'm not sure... I guess how I like it for, you know, control when you put it on your cheek and then you can like buff and brush it out. 
Um, I'm just not sure how good I will get at applying this without making it look like I just went streak. But hey, for the new factor, pretty darn cool. Okay, so that is everything in my Ipsy. Not bad. I, um, yeah, the last couple months I think Ipsy has been the loser in my challenge, but I'm okay, Lily. Gotta move my friend here. So, there were my Ipsy items and the brush. Huh, not bad at all. Let's see how Birchbox did. Um, I did already cut open the box just for ease. Um, Birchbox comes in a box versus a bag. It has an outer wrapper every month. And then, wow, they have the most beautiful boxes. Every month they have a different design. And um, sometimes it's themed, sometimes it's just beautiful. And I use these all the time. I use them to sort and store my different makeup and samples that I get. So I might put like all eyeshadows in one and then keep it in a drawer so they're not flying around. I also use these w if I'm going to send some random act of kindness mail out. I will put fill this full and then mail it. Lots of fun. So let's open our birch box for... November. Ooh, I love this color. This is like, sorry, I don't want it to fall out. I just want to show you. It's always wrapped like this. Birchbox also gives you a card. This one has information though. Um, it will list the products you have received and also give you the um, full price retail. So if you wanted to buy a full size. And then you can kind of see if you got it because sometimes you'll get full size stuff. So I don't want to read all those because I want to be a little surprised. Let's see, November 2015, the holiday festivities are on the horizon. There's a chill in the air. What's better reason for a little pampering and polishing? Indulgence, blah, da, 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 da. So, it's an indulgent theme before the holiday. Then you're going to open up your birch box, peel back the layers, and look at your goodies. Let's get through this. First one. La La Lagoon Aromatic Bath and Shower Gel. This bath and shower gel, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just your normal. Uh, I was trying to find full size is $18. I want to smell it. Fused with mint, peppermint, and basil. Basil or basil? How do you pronounce it? Oh, I, I do not like this scent. Lily, do you want to smell? Oh, she's still praying. I don't know that I can even use this. Oh, oh no, I just touched my nose. <laughs> um, I'm not really getting peppermint or mint. Maybe it's the basil. Basil I don't like. It is a very strong smell. Almost a male cologne musky smell. And maybe it'll dilute in the shower, but I'm not even going to try and use this because I can just feel my you know, lungs constricting and my asthma kicking in. It's very strong. Um, second item is a Protect and Detangle from Beauty Protector. Little mini, good travel size. $21.95, full size. Um, it's a thermal protector, UV protector, seals cuticle, smooths hair, locks in color, smooths hair. Locks in color, add shine, weightless, non-greasy conditions for all hair types used daily. It's a miracle in a bottle. That's kind of fun. I'll use that because I like D. Um, oh, I almost missed this one. I like detanglers. This is about the tiniest little cute thing called Make. Make, I'm assuming, is the brand Face Gloss. What exactly is Face Gloss? Let us consult our informative sheet. $25 for a full size. With minimal effort, this colorless, vitamin-rich formula refreshes dull skin. It's a face gloss, I guess. If you do not naturally um, glow, I'm always hot, <laughs> so I don't know that I need a face gloss, but refresh and brightens tired, dull skin. I might try it, or I might just pass it on. Um, pillow box. Often little items, they stick in a pillow box. And I got two items in here. First one is a perfume sample. CM Style de Paris. Um, Catherine Malandrino. Oh, I think I already smell it. 
This actually is not bad. This is, I like this. This is light. Um, it does, the bad thing is these don't like give you any like hints what the notes are and stuff, but I, I do like that. I will be using that perfume. And then the last item we all were, I think we all could choose, or I can't remember, um, Birchbox came out with their own line of cosmetics called LOC. Um, I forget what it stands for. Lots of color? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, Love Tati. And this color is called Glam Life. It's a vibrant matte lipstick in the Glam Life. So full size is $8. Um, I don't know. Should we try this on? I don't have any lipstick on. Hmm. Oh, it's a little different. It's not, it's like, I don't know if this is because it's a sample, but it's not your typical shape of a lipstick. It's more like an eye crayon, to be honest. But, um, let's see how I can put it on. Sorry, no, I'm not looking at you. I gotta look at the viewfinder. Let's swatch it next to my blush. Woo -hoo. Okay, this looks really good on um, camera, which means I, when I look at myself in the mirror in real life, it's going to be really dark. But um, I don't know, I like it. It applies really easy, it's smooth, it's not instantly drying if it's a matte. Um, I'll kind of see it. How oh, are we for? Huh? Not very smudge proof, but that's just right away. I don't know. I like my color. Oh, so now the dilemma. The decision of every month. Who wins the battle? So, Birchbox. Oh, Ipsy. And uh, quite often I will have these almost like tied and then it comes down to the bag or the box. But, um, so there we got that. And then we got, remember we got the brush, and these other goodies from Ipsy. They're both, I'm actually pleased with both of my boxes this month. So, um, boxes, bags with both subscriptions. But if I had to, to, did you hear me uh, gurgle there? Based on the items that I will actually use, or be able to use, I'm going to go with um, Ipsy. Ipsy's my winner this month. I am ecstatic about the brush. That totally pretty much pushed you over for the winner, but I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, a primer, face primer, anti-shine. I will use that. I already know that I like this mascara. These are just too flippin' cool. So even if it doesn't work for me, I've been entertained. And I will share these with my girlfriends, and we will all be entertained. So these are awesome. And um, this is a good neutral eyeshadow. And the only thing, like I said, Birchbox is fine, but this scent way overpowering. No thank you. Um, I'm really on the fence about this face gloss. Maybe if it's a moisturizer, but just the way it's marketed as a face gloss makes me think it's going to add shine. And I'm always trying to not have shine on my face. But um, otherwise, I really like this lipstick. And the perfume was good. And the detangler I'll use. But as a whole, Ipsy One. Good job, Ipsy. This is has you've been on a, a losing streak for a while. So those are my November um, <laughs> subscription boxes, the ten dollar ones. If you subscribe to Ipsy or Birchbox, can you comment? Let me know. Did you get some of the same stuff, different stuff? If you do unboxings, please also comment that so I can come check you out because I love to watch unboxings. So and who won? Do you get them both? Did you have a winner? We shall see, but for now, Lily and I are going to go make a little bit of supper, maybe chill and watch some TV. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come see me. I greatly appreciate it. Lily appreciates it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I don't know. S&M black vinyl. <laughs> and then the other side is gold. And we just had that bronzy one last month that I didn't like. I'm just not a huge gold person in general. I'm My jewelry is always silver. Um, I don't do gold. But everything fit in the bag. Let's see what we got and if it's a dead deal or a dud. 
and I just pull things out randomly. I haven't seen any of this. Ooh, I grabbed two by mistake. Um, here, first item. It's a Pretty Eyes, I think is maybe the um, brand name, eyeliner. Pretty Eyes Automatic. Nope, Pretty Eyes Automatic Eyeliner in Plum from Scone Cosmetics. So, that's nice, all sealed up. I'm not gonna swatch it in case I wanna give it to somebody. 